Hey everyone, it's Mario. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. Uh, we're stepping away from the food videos for a little bit. This is a, a projector. Uh, I use this for decoration uh, on Halloween and Christmas time. So stick with me and I uh, hope you enjoy. See you in a bit. What do we got here today? I know what I got. You don't know what I got. Thanks, Dave. Ah, you know, DB Power uh, projector, LCD projector. A lot of people balk at these because they are uh, not as powerful as, you know, these nice Epsons and whatnot. This claims to be like 1500 lumens. I don't recall seeing the color lumens, which is important. They say 1500, but let's be frank, it's not going to be 1500. The reason why I got this one, and uh, I'll post a link over there and even maybe a couple of sample clips, is during Halloween I uh, post projections out, some at the windows and so forth. And these, which I've been using for the la last year, I used these, and this I've used for the last couple of years. This I think I picked up, uh, might have been at Home Depot, but this is a projector, and it comes with some samples for different holidays, uh, Christmas, Halloween, and a couple others that I don't recall. Now they have a more expensive and a cheaper version. One has built in where you can't swap the SD card, it's just with built in, and then one that you can. Uh, this one, these two right here, I think I paid uh, 40 bucks for these. These, um, you know, except SD cards, USB cards, whatever. So I had one of these pointing out uh, from the inside, pointing at the front glass door, and it looked like uh, skeletons climbing out of the ground. The unfortunate part about these low power projectors is it has to be pretty much completely dark or you can't see it. And that's why people are running out and buying these much more expensive uh, projectors like. Uh, Maybe the resolution isn't great, but since um, people want the new projectors, they get the other ones cheap. But again, these were 40 each, and I think at the time this might have been $60 after a coupon or something like that at Home Depot. This one right here was on sale at Amazon for $76, more than I normally would have spent, but this is going to allow me to use a projector um, when there's more light, if I need to keep a light on, because normally I'm shutting off all the lights in the house, and then I get a you know, turn on a little flashlight to go greet the kids to collect the candy. So we're going to take a look at uh, the accessories that come with these. This one is the Window FX. They're now on the third generation of this product. We're going to unbox it and just show quickly what it has to offer. So this one comes with a projection screen. I happen to have a, a spare here. And I just uh, used some thumbtacks and posted it around the window frame. Uh, you have the projector itself. Nothing fancy. And, uh, you know, little sand, uh, stand comes with it. Not great for anything. Uh, power adapter, and it does have the SD card that uh, ejects out. And it does have a USB port as well. Uh, what I've been doing to simplify it is uh, I'll get another SD card or USB card and just put the one video I want on it. Otherwise, you're constantly going through the menu to select what you want. So that's number one. So we'll leave that right here. These are the ones I bought last year. I bought them from two different companies. They were about the same price. One was going to get here faster. One shipped from China, one shipped from maybe California, I think. Um, Functionality wise, pretty much the same as the ones from uh, from Atmos FX. And here we have projector, pretty much the same size. Um, and it's got the quarter 20, so you can put this on a tripod. And uh, you know, it's got a power adapter, and it also has a set of cables, but it's kind of deceiving. You can't use these for uh, you know, going to a set of speakers, so I had to get a separate adapter. Uh, also, it comes with a remote control, which you're really going to need. And uh, this is the USB key from last year that had just the one, uh, one uh, piece. One was uh, three singing pumpkins, which you can project onto pumpkins, so it looks like the actual pumpkins are talking. It's just a uh, black projection and music uh, but the built-in speakers for these aren't good for anything unless you're standing right next to it so that's number two and again you could see these in action 
on my Halloween videos. I will post those up. I also have some Christmas ones. Kids in the neighborhood love them. So, now again, this is 1500 lumens. You gotta really question when they start throwing out these big power numbers. Uh, actually, a manual. I don't know if I've ever seen a manual come with one of these. And it's in color too. Wow, impressive. Uh, a couple other things here. Warranty cards. I've owned some things from DB Power before. I bought some uh, security cameras. Uh, can't speak well of them though. Uh, remote control, good size. Almost reminds me of my Alexa remote. Uh, standard power cord, interesting. So that's actually good. That means I don't have a power brick hanging off the wall. Uh, comes with an HDMI cable. Another adapter, which again, this isn't gonna help me out any. Uh, this is the four conductor one. And what else do we got in here? A little sticker. I, sorry, I can't read uh, this qualified. I'm kind of curious why they did it this way. So you either have this on, this is probably a quarter 20 thread to tilt the projector up and down or you put in yeah that's what they want you to do so you either use that uh, little stand or you put your quarter 20 and what that means is I'm probably gonna end up losing this but I'll keep it in the box so uh, weight wise it, this feels quite a bit heavier yeah I wouldn't say twice as heavy but uh, Again, it's not, not science doing this, but um, it's actually, this one's pretty heavy. This is heavier than the Atmos FX. I've taken them apart before to take a look and uh, you can see it. So this has a nice, pretty big lens here. And let's pop that off. So here for adjustments, you have the keystone and basically that's just kind of makes it look more or less like a, what is it, trapezoid uh, in the focus. And you got some basic buttons. You got the uh, remote SD, uh, not SD, sorry, the remote uh, IR here. One thing I wasn't thinking when I bought this, I wish I had bought this in black. It'll be less noticeable, especially if it's outside. Um, here you got the VGA, and uh, you got another infrared there. Uh, power here, so the power supply is built in. That's probably why this has a lot of weight. I like the fact it has the power supply built in because uh, it makes it just a little easier. Uh, with the power cord and on the side here what do we have we have the hdmi we have uh, two usb we have an sd card and these two ports which i'm going to read um one is headphones which i would run to the speakers and this is uh the av so um i guess if you're going to run it to a composite screen that's what that would be used for let's put the lens protector back on before i break something so that's what that is. Now we're gonna talk about specs and what they claim the specs of this to be. Okay, so this is the DB Power T20, 1500 lumens. That's uh, probably not true lumens. And a lot of the times with these, you gotta look at the color lumens too. Uh, and this doesn't list it. But they say it's a T20, 1500 LCD mini projector, multimedia home theater video projector, supports 1080p. The native resolution is probably like 800 by 480. I will uh, check that. Um, but most of the people who buy this uh, have had it's been rated more favorably normally this goes for about 100 bucks 102 bucks the white one is uh, you know 99 but I got on an Amazon gold deal for like uh, $78 I think and then they went down again but there's always coupon codes floating around for this um, dimensions is uh, 12 by 8 by four and a half it's uh, 2.1 pounds they claim the shipping weight is a little bit more other information, uh, you know, as mentioned, it's got HDMI, VGA, USB, again, on the side. Uh, image brightness, 1500 lumens, contrast, 1000 to 1. Now, unless you go with uh, really high-end projectors, you're not going to get a lot more. Uh, you're going to have to spend some bucks, and I don't believe in spending a lot of money on that kind of stuff, especially if it might be outside, could get damaged, stolen, perhaps. Uh, so now that you have the basics, I'm going to show you how I mount these. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I use to mount these upside, outside, inside, upside down, wherever, and on pretty much anything. 
This is a Bogan Super Clamp uh, 2900 is the part number. This part number has since changed uh, some years ago. Uh, I think the part number is 035 and there's some variations with different types of studs. So this particular one came with a, a longer stud and these super clamps are awesome. Um, so first you got the lever here, this tights the actual jaw itself. If you need to mount it on a flat surface on both sides versus uh, you know a piece of uh, tubing or whatever, a pipe, a, another stand, you can just pop this right in there like that. And what I do is I mounted one of these on uh, the rails for the handrails of the stairway. So, you know, you can mount it any way you want. Turn this, sorry, wrong way, mount it. And this is solid and that's not coming off. I can lift the whole table with this. Uh, you have a couple things. You have a quarter 20 screw on the top here and uh, you also have this connect, which I also end up using. You just push it here, you push this button, and uh, there's a little wing nut here you can see I'm turning. That will help it fall in so you can tighten it so it doesn't wiggle around. So that's another piece I use. And this is just a release button if you're not using it, if you don't care about it wiggling. Uh, again, solid piece. Another thing I use is these Bogan 2905 umbrella stands. Uh, anyone in photography, you know, who has umbrella stands, there's some cheap plastic ones out there. This is a 2905. This also has a new part number. It's uh, 026, I believe. Uh, and this as well has an adapter here. Take that out. It's double-sided. So you have a quarter 20, and then I, I'm not sure what that is. That could, might be 3 8 maybe a little larger. Um, and the nice thing about this, when you're tightening it up, problem I ran into is when I mounted it on the stairs this would hit the wall but all you have to do is pull this out and then move it to a position that is more productive to what you're doing so this at that point would mount on here and that would lock it in place in fact this table is one of the things I mounted to to go out the big picture window we have in front of the house and that would be a, a nice big scene so this would come up here the nice thing about this i pull this out and this would now screw to the bottom right here and then this oh that was all the way down So with this now, you can see with the umbrella stand, I can tilt this, uh, I can go sideways if I have to, turn this around, whatever position I need. And usually this is mounted sideways on the stairs, and I use a uh, portrait style for the mummies coming out of the floor of the front entryway. I believe this year I'm, I'm going to use it out in the yard. I'm going to have a almost invisible screen in the yard, and it's going to show them coming out of the ground, the grass, whatever it's going to be. So that's going to be pretty cool. So these are some really nice options. I'm using them because I have them. Uh, they can be expensive otherwise. Back when I bought them, they, they weren't cheap at all. You're talking this umbrella stand. Might have been like a, now it's like $29. I probably paid half that at the time. And the, the super clamp itself, you know, probably the same deal. But if you uh, take photography seriously or you have umbrella stands, whatever, it's a good choice. Uh, for some of the heavier equipment. I would trust it. These were recommended by my uh, photography uh, instructor. Again, lock it, lock it, lock it. And again, this comes out. So if there's something in the way or you need to get more leverage, see that? I'm not trying to make this about photography, but you can see. Again, I'm gonna post links in the description and maybe I'll have some snippets off to one of the sides here uh, of what I used and how I used them and you'll actually be able to see some, some uh, live screens. One other thing I mentioned with this is uh, you know you can uh, you know plug in media from the Atmos FX uh, piece. It came with an SD card with several and um, 
you know, I put them on different SD cards. The other thing is, some of the ones I downloaded were actually from YouTube. People will create them and put them up on there. So there are some uh, inexpensive options. But again, if you go to Home Depot, sometimes they're exclusive. There's two versions of this. One's like 60 and one's like 80 or 100. Um, but one of them, you cannot choose your scenes. They're just built in. It's probably on an SD card on board. If you took it apart, you could pull it out. And the other one has extra scenes. And you can purchase scenes, but they're, they're kind of expensive. So you have to be really into it and really you know put forth the effort maybe better projectors or whatnot so keep that in mind when you're doing that that, that you have a, a lot of options to choose from when you're doing these kind of projections uh christmas time usually i keep it simple usually just one projection um but you know halloween i'm hoping to get four projections out there and it should prove to be pretty interesting so i'm going to do a quick comparison here this is the new db power uh, first thing I got to do is go through the menu system and tell it to select a source and the rounded corners is what your selection is and just press the OK button and USB is selected already now I'm going to tell it to play a movie so it's going to look for different movie formats and that's the USB key if you notice the back arrow is highlighted now now the USB so we'll select that and I have one, only have one on this one it's called Bone Chiller that came with the uh, Atmos FX so let's take a look at this. And this is pointed at the ceiling right now just because it's easier to see. But I'm going to put it on the gray background in a second. Now, a couple things. This is definitely much louder than the other ones that uh, I might not have to put an external speaker for some of the uh, setups. It's also definitely much brighter. Uh, it's still daylight out here, and um, I can actually see this. The other ones, all the lights would have to be off. The picture is also going to adjust it a little bit here much crisper and clearer than it was on the other ones now this has no legs because it's supposed to appear coming out of the floor so what i'm going to do is point this down see if i can zoom out we'll uh, show you what's supposed to happen here it's supposed to appear to be coming out of the out of the, out of the ground outside so if you could just picture it for a second here and give it a second i apologize for all the background noise because uh there's no batteries in the remote so i can't lower the volume Now I shut that off for a minute because I want to explain something. The projector isn't at maximum brightness. They never are. My other projectors, um, I had to turn up the brightness quite a bit, but then you get that white ghosting effect that there's just too much brightness. And it kind of ruins the effect because you want the brightness to be on the image, not everything around it because then it looks fake. Um, so that was the new DB Power. Uh, I am going to connect the uh, the Chinese make one, the $40 one costs half as much, and we're gonna give that a go. Now that's been tweaked with the color and so forth and the brightness, but uh, I know already that this new DB Power is definitely more powerful and probably definitely worth it. I wish I had bought two on sale. So let's check out the cheaper ones. Okay, so here's the cheaper projector. Um, this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and select uh, uh, movie as you can see it's bigger there and pick the USB key and bone chiller now if you recall I mentioned I had to tweak this you see how bright that frame is Now, it still doesn't look too bad as far as sharpness goes. This one, I do have the option for the volume. Um, you see that brightness? Now, the camera's going to make up for some of that brightness. It's, uh, you know, it's going to make everything brighter, but that square wasn't as evident with the old one. Uh, this works great still for some of the stuff, but this projector just can't compare as far as the output goes. Now, I'm by no means a professional in projectors, and if you want a good projector, you're going to spend a lot of money. 
but I'm looking at this and the clarity on this thing just isn't as good. I, I know I'm not doing it, you can't really tell. Uh, we're about, uh, I would say 12 feet from the wall. That's a gray wall. Masha Stewart uh, stone, if anybody's interested to know. <laughs> uh, cobblestone or something like that. But, um, you know, this white border is okay around a door as long as they can't see the frame of it. And that's how I worked with it last time. So this is going to take some tweaking, but I know I would be more likely to put this outside because I'm not as worried about a $40 projector. It'll be covered under a box or something. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing on this channel. I know this is a little different than what you've been seeing lately. I've been doing a lot of food in the air fryer and got another thing coming up too. But uh, you know, this is woodworking, tools, daily things, food. Uh, you know, so I have a, a smorgasbord, if you will, of uh, different things we do here. So anyway, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next one.